I think the notion of I exist is really, really important. It will raise awareness amongst the general public in terms of the fact that I think a lot of people understand that there are children with autism, but very few people then make the leap to understanding that means there's going to be large numbers, an increasing number of adults with autism in our communities, in our society. People are either seen as having um, learning disabilities or mental health problems, or they're seen as having physical disabilities. And actually, people with autism fall between all those, you know, lots of cracks there. And so I think that it really is a hidden problem, and I think this campaign is absolutely right to address that. I have to say that all too often adults are forgotten about uh, and we need to do an awful lot more to make sure that, uh, as this is uh, being indicated today, adults are counted in. These people do exist uh, and they have a life to lead, they need support and we should all be there doing as much as we can to support adults with autism. There are enormous numbers of people out there who are completely unrecognized, who may, may often be treated as mentally ill, as having problems with the police, because their condition isn't recognized. And I think that you know, if people are properly diagnosed and then given appropriate help, it can make all the difference in the world. Adult social services have got to be the pinnacle for the support. I can't see it happening any other way. And they have to identify, who, in my mind, who is the appropriate key worker and I suppose because obviously it's a it's a whole spectrum some people will need more support than others local authorities having to restrict who they can help with by um, applying eligibility criteria it means that a lot of um, adults with autism are falling through the gaps if we're talking about someone say in their 50s or 60s you're talking about someone who probably would never have had access to any diagnosis um, uh, uh, when they were younger and will have really they and those who are close to them will have just learn to cope with whatever needs they have. I think the most striking thing actually is the fight. Parents battle. Um, as if life wasn't a battle enough anyway, if you're looking after somebody with high needs, you then have to battle the services to get what you want. Life is made much, much more difficult for anyone with autism, but uh, sometimes adults in particular, when the support and help through social services just isn't there. We need to ensure that those with autism or Asperger's do get the services that they need. Parents are very worried about what happens when, when their children get into adulthood. There is, in general, provision for children whilst at school, but the provision after school is very patchy. It's the pigeonholes that um, create the gaps. You have the gaps between those holes, and if you don't drop into a hole, you sit there. And actually what we need is to look at it from another's perspective, and that is what do people need? Rather than what their diagnosis is, what do they need? Like anyone else. Um, you know, I wouldn't want a, a package for exactly what I need. Um, I, I'd expect it to be tailored around the kind of things that I need myself in partnership with anyone who cares for me or supports me. And exactly the same sort of thing is, is required in, in this instance. So it is necessary, I think, for governments and both north and south of the border to look more closely at this. The problem is that local government is just not geared up to um, dealing with the problem, particularly with adults. Of course, it's also sending messages to local government, to the health service, and indeed to ourselves in national government, uh, that we need a greater focus specifically on the needs of adults with autism. This part of the campaign is about adults with autism, an extremely important area. Clearly because autism is a lifelong condition, children with autism become adults with autism. So we know there are very, very many adults out there. What we don't know is exactly how many 
who they are and where they are and exactly what their needs are. And until we know all this, we obviously can't give them the support that they deserve and need. Adults with autism are increasingly feeling isolated, ignored, lonely, and we know from the research that the NAS has already done that those adults who are not receiving any support and help increasingly become vulnerable to other problems such as mental illness, depression and so on. So this is a very important area that needs movement fast and what we're calling on the government and local authorities to do is to initiate research into first finding out how many adults there are because it's extraordinary that we don't even know that and where they are and what their needs are and also that people who are assessing people with autism should be trained better should know what they're looking for, should know how to deal with it and how to help.